That hurt. You just like, dropped it on your foot? Yeah. Wait till you get to the end. Because Sig, Sig is great. Yes. <laughs> I think my favorite thing that happens with Armstrong is when he's like doing all the sparkles and then the sparkles are just like hitting people and bouncing off of their heads. Like, <laughs> this is like my favorite thing about his sparkles. It does not taste like beer.
Okay, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. Um, hi, long time no see. I read 13 books in this weekend. In the 24 hour period, I think I read like nine. And then the other four later on in the evening. Um, and all but two of these are graphic novels or manga because I had made that the theme. So let's get into those. I'll talk about the two that were not graphic novels and manga first. So the first thing that I read, I finished The Wind in the Willows. Um, I had like 40 pages left of it. It was very entertaining, very enjoyable. Not the greatest thing I've ever read. I gave it three stars. But it's fun. It would be fun to read to kids. Definitely. I don't dislike it at all. I can't really find any fault in it. I just didn't enjoy it as enough to give it higher stars, if that makes sense. It was still good, though. Um, the other thing that I read was A Dead Gin in Cairo by P.J. LeClerc, which is the first book in the novella trilogy that you're actually supposed to read before you read A Master of Gin, but I didn't know that. So I read The Master of Gin like last month or two months ago, and I read this first one this weekend, and I really like it. I gave it four stars. Uh, I really like the world that Clark puts his stories in. It's like this steampunk fan fantasy world, and it's very fun, very interesting. I like the characters. I like the lore. I like the way that the steampunk works with what's going on and how like religion still exists, and it's very it's very interesting. It obviously takes place in Egypt, and I I really like it. I'm looking forward to reading the other two novellas and whatever else this man comes up with. I really, really like it. So those were the two uh, books. And so now I'm going to go through the graphic novels and the manga. I'm not saying them in any particular order. Um, this is just how I have them stacked. So yeah. Okay, so first things first, I reread Lock and Key. Um, I'm going to have to get a new volume one because the back pages like, just decided to um, unglue and fall out. But... <laughs> Uh, this is still probably my favorite graphic novel series that I've finished. I really, really like these. I like the characters and I like the art progression throughout it because the first the first ones, the art's not like that great, but by the end, these last three have my favorite art in them. And then these three are just really fun. These part three are probably my favorite parts of the story. And then these three have my favorite art. So yeah, very, very dark. Um, don't I would not recommend this to anybody under the age of 16. I read The Way of the House Husband by Kusuke Uno. Uh, this is about a former Yakuza member who got married and became a house husband. And it's very funny. It's very intense. Like, this is from the first couple of pages. Like, everything he does is just very intense and very um, scary, honestly. <laughs> But the art is absolutely fabulous, and the story is hilarious. I really love the main character and, like, the people around him and his wife. I gave this one all... I gave this one four stars, I believe. And I gave all of um, Lock and Key four stars. Next thing I read is South Pole Santa Claus by Kaiser Nix and Serena Malian, and I gave this two stars. And the only reason I gave it two stars is because the art is beautiful and so pretty and I love the art so much, but the story is dumb and it makes no sense. And it, it's weird because it's like it's trying to be dark, but it's not. And there are moments where it's like, here's some traumatic stuff that this character has gone through, but it doesn't elaborate anything and it doesn't explain why. <laughs> it's just like, here's three pages of them doing something kind of traumatic when they were younger for no reason. It doesn't have any bearing to the story. Two stars. This was not, this was not good. I read Hilda, the first volume, which is Hilda and the Trolls by uh, Luke Pearson. I love, I love the art in this, in like the difference between the art in this one and the art in the show. I think that this is absolutely fantastic and I loved it. So uh, highly recommend this one as well. I gave this four stars. It's extremely short. I need to get the rest of them now and just finish it. Um, but this is really fun. This is really fun. This is something that I'll be going back over and just looking at the art, not even to read, but just to look at the art. Uh, I think that it is absolutely adorable and gorgeous. I read My Senpai is Annoying, Volume 7 by Shiromanta. I've been reading this pretty much as they come out, and I gave this one four stars. This one was really, really good. I really, really liked this one. This is probably one of my favorite series. I just enjoy the uh, relationships between all of the co-workers 
and obviously between Takeda Senpai and um, my my went bra my brain went blank Futaba. Um, I love their relationship and the way they interact with each other. I like the way that their co-workers interact with each other. It's really entertaining and I really, really, really like this series. Last thing I have is Sumo by Tin Fun. I gave this three stars. It is okay. It's fine for what it is. The art is fine. The story is fine. Um, it's extremely fast read because it's all in these panels and there's very little dialogue. But it's about a American that goes to Japan to become a sumo wrestler after his girlfriend breaks up with him and he is no longer going to be going to like the NFL or something like that and it's kind of about him finding himself um, very quickly honestly uh, it could have been a little bit more fleshed out in his feelings and what he was doing and how things were going but I think they did that on purpose I'm not entirely sure why it's okay uh, it is a solid three stars it's fun to read there's nothing wrong with it not so I can't give it less than three stars but if you were to ask me for graphic novel recommendations I probably wouldn't recommend this one it is fine though it is there's nothing unenjoyable about it okay that was all of them that was a lot I tried my best to go quickly I don't know how quickly I went so I'll see you in my next video have a good evening afternoon or morning depending on when you're watching this and until next time happy reading <laughs> bye